Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how you doing? It's Big P here, the voice of hardcore boxing. Just a quick video, uh, last video to, of the day. Now I've done my training session and I can go home and chill for the uh, rest of the weekend now. But uh, I'm not going to mince my words here. <sighs> You've probably seen it, haven't you, on social media. Or Eddie Earn and the Daily Mail using his column to promote himself again and his father's home they're going to put boxing on there and it's going to be razzmatazz and keep boxing sexy I mean this man right let me just turn this phone off because it's just going off tent it doesn't all the time this man I can explain it he's got no scruples whatsoever on it he said that opportunities are going to arise out of this uh, coronavirus epidemic thing and it looks to me like that they've got no care for anybody have they I mean they're even going to put shows on in his dad's garden where they used to live but Eddie they're saying it's in Eddie's garden Eddie doesn't live there Eddie doesn't live there he lives a few miles away but Look, they're going to save venue on venue costs, aren't they? And they're going to jazz it all up. They've got to jazz it all up, haven't they? Because at the end of the day, they've got to have a bit of a background, haven't they? To ring, haven't they? Because there's... I can explain it. There's going to be no... There's going to be no fans there, is there, in background. So they're going to get the London background and all that. And Look, good luck to them, right? As long as it's all safe. But will Eddie's, Eddie's mum be there? Will Eddie's wife be there? Will Eddie's sister be there? Will they be there on the night? I'm not so sure, but we're going to see, aren't we? But personally, I think it's pure greed. It's greed at its at its lowest, isn't it? And then you've got him coming out saying he's not sure whether he wants to promote Mike Tyson, but he wants to see it. Look. We're talking about a guy here that put Kel Brook in with Golovkin. I know I keep banging on about that, don't I? I keep banging on about the Kel Brook Golovkin thing, but these people are obsessed by power notes, aren't they? And I can understand that, right? Because I've had my moments in my life, but come on. It's like this with Premier League, isn't it? I want Liverpool to win the league, but look what they did with. Atletico Madrid, all them thousands coming over and they all knew what was going on, didn't they, with the virus. That's my opinion. But I just think it's pure greed and I think that Eddie Earns should be ashamed, really, but, you know, they all want to get paid, don't they? And it's just one of them things, isn't it? But it's boxing industry for you, isn't it? He's at the top of the tree, he's going to do what he wants. You'll have all them people, all his little favourites who will be getting access to the show. We know who they are, don't we? IFL, Boxing Social, Behind the Gloves. If you've got a big following, you'll get access to the show. That's not sour grapes on my part. I don't want access to their shows. I'm watching from afar and giving an opinion and just correcting the rubbish that we're, see that we're seeing and the rubbish that spoke. You see, us little people in South Yorkshire, we've got a little bit more about us than that Essex lot down there. Not everybody down there is like hearn and money motivated but there's a lot of talkers in there down there and what do we say about talkers hey eh? there's talkers and there's cheese and onion walkers i'm a smoky bacon man myself but i just think it's in bad taste i think it's in bad taste um that's just how, how it's going to go down isn't it i suppose you're going to see them all walking around in masks and keeping the distance and all that and do you know if anybody does catch anything? If anybody caught, contra, con, whatever, I'm not sure what the word is, but if they catch this virus and they've, and they've got it from down there, can you imagine the legal impl implications? Be unbelievable, won't it? These people have got no shame whatsoever. No shame, have they? Yeah, it's innovative and stuff like that, but. I think it's in bad taste. I think Eddie Earns a very good promoter. He's very, very, very hard working. I know what it's like just to do a couple of videos, what's it, what's involved, but I'm pretty much hands on. And I have a small team around me, but 
uh, this was in bad taste we're talking 40,000 people have died in this country that's Leeds United could you imagine if everybody died who, who could fit in Ellen Road at Leeds United's ground 40,000 if everybody died there'd be pandemonium wouldn't there there'd be hell on but and this man wants to put shows on in his dad's former garden or where their offices are now I, I don't get it I don't get it I think it's madness but it is what it is isn't it so but what can you do well, I've got better things to worry about in my life all right so peace out keep on trucking keep sporting boxing shout out to my sponsors thank you for backing the channel we're only a small channel but I'd like to think we're going places so have a good weekend everybody